In this video, I'm going to show you some great practices for back probing electrical connectors when doing some testing. What we're trying to do is not violate the connector. So follow these tips for good practices. Let's take a look at how we can test these connections without violating or damaging the integrity of these. We said that it's a lot better idea to basically back probe or come in here. On these types of connectors where there's quite a bit of space, it's no big deal to take your take your meter and go ahead and set it in here. Just be careful with the intention if you have the sharp probe like this one is that you're not piercing that wire. So I'm going to come back to back probing, but we're going to talk about the connector itself here. Where people get into trouble here is putting too much pressure in bending that tab like I just did and then when if they don't notice it you know because you're working in dark conditions not using a flashlight and then you go to put that into the female you're gonna violate the female end of that or just create all kinds of problems so one thing you always want to do in here is make sure that the integrity of these is very similar in its spread between the connectors and whatnot you can see actually here in this bottom one that it's bent down a little bit and sometimes it's just they're loose in here so you want to be careful not to be just in here prying around like crazy you start working on these older bikes you gotta think this plastic can be 20 30 years old it doesn't have that same integrity as new so you really want to use some caution your best practice in working on connectors like this to try and get a reading from this is to go ahead and just be really well prepared and have yourself a bunch of jumpers made up. You can see here I just took a piece of wire, put a male on one end and a female on the other, and that really allows me to go in here. You can see where someone even put some tape around here to, to not have any concerns whatsoever. And I could go ahead and get a really good connection on there and now be outside of this to use my alligator clip and clamp onto this so I can get a good positive reading. All you gotta do is just, like I said, be prepared. You can see here I got a box of different connectors made up, ready to go with all different ends on there. Here's one that you're gonna see that you're familiar with and that's the bullet style connector. Now I wanna go ahead and show what this looks like. So here's a, here's a brand new connector. Let's go ahead and put a male in it. And when these are brand new, and if you're unsure what a good connection looks like, put a couple new ones together so that you could see the integrity of that. What's actually happened is these two rolled over pieces are creating the friction or drag across that male as it's sliding in there. So if we take and we are probing around in here, you know, and we, you know, push our meter in like that and we think, oh, okay, I got a good test and you grab your multimeter reading, what we've done now is we violated that connector. So you can take a look at that. And the other thing you gotta think about this on the age of these vehicles, together apart, together apart, that this thing is literally wearing out itself. Do you see how easy that slides in and out now? Well, you know, somebody comes along, tests it again. Oh geez, I wonder what's wrong with this vehicle. You know, now we've got this pretty wallowed out, if you will, that's gonna be a problem. So you're going to work on a bike and you're kinda unsure, you know, you're not maybe familiar with this yet. Take a look at a brand new one versus whatever you're working with and that's your that's your comparison that's going to be your best bet here we want electrical connectors to be firm if we can take you could see now as i've wallowed that out people say well i'd never put that back together that's not going to be an issue the thing you're forgetting about though is we've got insulators so let's just use this exact same style when i'm on a motorcycle in the real world Sometimes the insulator itself will have enough friction where you won't notice that the wire's bad. You wanna take your wires like this and you're not grabbing them out here, but you wanna just kinda of pull them like that and see if there's a drag or a friction across there, not from the insulator, but from the metal itself. Let's go ahead and look at this one here. Now, if I just lightly do that same thing, I could see it flops around a lot and that would not be a good connection. Just because the bike harness has got a little friction this way and a little friction this way, yeah, you might have a light light, but that means that you're gonna have high resistance here. High resistance creates heat and that's where you end up with connectors that look like they're burned or melted or trying to figure out what's going on with that. That might simply be because it was vibrating and loose and making contact, breaking contact. So that's what we're trying to avoid. Good, solid connections by being prepared and having good, uh, good ready-to-made jumper leads so that we aren't the ones creating the damage. Here's another tip. If you find the damage, you gotta fix it. 
I have uh, also taken, before the probolator, one of the things we'd do is I would take another new one and then intentionally spread it out. Let me show you that. Take yourself here a big pick. Use some caution here. And I'm going to go ahead and intentionally widen that until I'm actually large enough. To fit around the outside so you can see if I put a if I crimp a wire on here and make a set of jumpers with that that's another great way to test it is just by making a, a wider barrel here's another little tip I found useful you can get these uh, t-pins in your like sewing aisles and grind off the round edge to where it's flat on one side then you can back probe them like this put your alligator clip on for a good test Pretty cool little trick. Head over to part two of uh, this little mini series here and watch a professional demonstration on my favorite product, which is by TechMate called the Probolator. Keep wrenching and make it a great day.